Hello developers, today we are going to build an artificial intelligence powered object detector. By the end of this video, you will have a working detector that you can customize and use in your own project. AI powered object detector is used to build computer vision based applications for face detection, vehicle detection, pedestrian counting, web images, security systems, driverless cars and many more. You will also build a similar AI solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this AI solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kits gives you ready to deploy solution with complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is AI object detection one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit customize and share your own solution. So let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands-on walkthrough. Hi all, hope you all are excited to build your own artificial intelligence model on object detection. To build your own AI powered object detector, you will require the following. First of all, you would need to import computer vision libraries and PyTorch. Second, you would require to load a pre-trained model like YOLO and the latest version, which is version five, we're going to use that. Third of all, we look forward to capturing your webcam feed so that you are able to detect real time objects and everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions here to set it up. You can pause the video now to complete the installation. Once ready, hit resume and we'll jump into the building object detection demo. Hope you all are set. If you have successfully set up, you will see this Jupyter Notebook. Let's deep dive into the Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, we have imported all the libraries for pre-processing and annotation like Computer Vision CV2, PyTorch. Then from Torch, we have loaded our pre-trained model. For our use case, we are using the YOLO version 5, which is one of the latest models uh, in object detection. After that, we have taken a sample image which is present in the uh, data set itself based on the YOLO model. And this is the image that you can see. The model is, uh, in, uh, you know, the image is supplied to the model and stored in results. And then we see that the result is able to provide us uh, two persons. Basically, it says that it is an image with two persons and a certain confidence score of 67% and 88%. Also, it has the model is also stating about that the two persons are wearing tie and one with 68% uh, confidence score and another with 26% confidence score. Further, as we go down, we see that we are trying to capture the real time feed of our webcam. So we try to detect it using this dot video capture function. And uh, these numbers basically help us detect where exactly or what, uh, you know, device we are trying to access. Then within this, what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, read individual images and then we have passed this, these images into our model and stored it into results. After that, we are converting all this into a dictionary form and also seeing that for each image, we are expecting a confidence score and uh, name or basically the class to which your particular object in an image belongs. So th that's what is going on here. And let's just go into the demo now. Until and unless we'll press a Q, trying, it will keep trying to capture the video feed. Okay, so I'll just run the code. Right. So as we can see, based on 
uh, code it is trying to capture my screen and just share the screen with uh, you all so yes it is stating that with a confidence score of 92 percent it is able to state that i am a person let's see what it says about this it's a cell phone with a certain confidence score of 91 percent okay let's get something else Okay. Yeah, so on placing it a little closer, it is able to state that it's a remote with a probability of 85%. We'll also test it against this. Okay, we see there is a motorcycle within this and it is trying to state this also with a certain probability score of or confidence score of say above 50% and it says it's a cup with some prob uh, confidence score as well. So yes, uh, we can see how our model is working. This is a already built up model and you can get ahead on this and work out this model to work with your own object detection use case. So you now have a working object detector. So you can check for other images which are part of this Kokomo data set and experiment and see how well your model performs for different confidence score. So you can go to this path onto your systems as well. Right, I'll just take you over to this path. So within this path, you will be able to find the data folder and within this data folder, you will have the COCO model. Once you open this COCO model, you will be able to see that it has 80 number of classes. So your model will be able to predict all these which are present here in this, uh, in this as objects, right? So you can customize your solution, but for that you will have to choose another data set and then annotate it and experiment and customize it as per your own requirements. Hope you found this session useful. Using a candy kit is a great way to build AI predictive engines. You can find the link to the AI powered object detector kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain and many more. Try out Candy Kits now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the OpenViewer community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects.